But does that scare you, human? Does it scare you that I've been watching you sleep? From the way you're reacting, it definitely looks like you're scared. And you are right to be scared. Oh, she went out hunting. It's just you and me. And I think it would be a very good idea if I got to know a little bit more about you. Since you're mine now. What do you think? She told me a little bit about how she found you, but I want to hear your side of things. Please, fill me in. So she wasn't kidding. You really did fall into a pitfall trap, and you couldn't get out of it? Those traps are meant to catch animals, not... Well, intelligent creatures. Well, does that anger you? Well, it's just a fact. You don't have to agree with it. You can still see that it's true. You fell into a trap that's meant to catch boar and bear, not sentient, intelligent creatures. No, no. You know, that doesn't make it any better, right? Just because you didn't have light? You should have had light. It's your own fault you didn't have light. And that only serves to prove my point. I don't know why... She kept you, and I'm very curious to find out why. Well, think of it this way. The cookie. That's what that was? The cookie? That was good. That was very good. But you did not have cookies with you when you fell into the pit. You made them after. So what happened in between? She decided to keep you. That's what I'm interested in, and that's what I'm going to find out. I don't know what you look so shocked for. What did you expect? I did say that we were going to share you. Fine, I'll ask her when she gets back. I'll ask you a different question then, and I hope you can answer this one. These cookies, they are very good. But why did you come out here? No, she'll be back later. Don't worry about her. Right now, it's just you and me. No, I'm very well aware that she came here to ask for my help keeping you safe. But what I don't understand is why would Gar be after you in the first place? He's a petty, selfish asshole. But that doesn't explain why he would be so interested in you that you would have to come all the way out here just to be safe. That is what I want you to tell me. And I want to know now. Hold on, let me stop you for a second and make sure I understand what you're saying. My sister wants to make cookies for the chieftain. That is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard, doll. You know, you would think after teaching her Everything I know, she would remember a couple of important details. Who doesn't matter who makes the cookie? Let's assume, let's assume for a minute that you are given equal membership in the tribe. What does that even mean? What do you do with that? Where can you, where can you go? What can you do? Who can you speak to? Who can you listen to? Who can you ask for help? Who do you stay out of their way? I love my little sister, but she is a complete buffoon when it comes to these things. So, I'm gonna have to give you a crash course on this stuff, because you're going to need to know it, and the sooner you get started, the better. Tell me so far what you know, or what you think you know. Yes, that's very basic knowledge. Congratulations. Stay away from the chieftain's tent. You are not an equal yet. But when you are an equal, when do you go to the chieftain's tent? Are you welcome at any moment of the day? Are you welcome to walk into the storage and take whatever you wish? What exactly does it mean to be a member? Well, the first thing we are going to have to teach you is how to properly greet an orc. Tell me what you've seen. Tell me what you know. 
Yes, and do you see a problem that we're going to have with you? I'm trying to be very delicate, and I don't think you're quite getting what I'm trying to say, so I'm going to have to be very blunt with you now. You are small. You cannot greet orcs the way they expect to be greeted by a peer. Think about your human village for a second. Everyone there, they all know what certain words mean. They all know what certain hand movements mean. If you are accepted as a full member of the tribe, if, and I say it very, very specifically if, because I am not yet convinced, if you are, you will be expected to understand what it is to be an orc. And if you make the wrong hand gesture, if you make one, you will be attacked. Because you insult their honor, and to an orc, there is no greater injury. We are our honor, and if we don't have that, we don't have anything. So if you are given full membership, and you walk around not knowing what you are doing, well, you won't be a member of the tribe for very long. Which is why I bring this up. This is certainly very kind-hearted, especially for an orc. Well, no, actually, the thing is... She was never the smartest out of us. I mean, she brought you out here to keep you safe. And she didn't even tell you. What the hell you that there is no such thing as safe? Not out in these woods. Why are you shrinking away from me? Of course I'm getting closer to you. How else am I supposed to smell if you're telling the truth? <laughs> no, of course not. I don't have... No. No, but what I can do is... Hear your heartbeat if it starts picking up faster. And when I look into your eyes... I see something in there. There is something in you, and I have to figure out what that is. Hush. My sister's a hunter. She hunts for the tribe. She scouts for the tribe. She gathers meat. She gathers leather and hide. What do I do? Did she tell you? No, no, no. You keep your eyes open. Did she tell you? Why do I live out here, away from the rest of the tribe? Why would that be? Exactly. I was trained as a shaman. And she can go scouting in the woods all she wants. She brought something very, very interesting here. I don't know what it is, but there is something inside you, something different. And we are going to figure it out. You wait right here, and I'm going to be back with something. Don't you move. Alright, human. Here, I want you to drink this, and I want you to drink it very carefully and slowly. Do not miss a single drop. It's just tea. There's no poison in it. Why would I poison someone my sister brought to me? Well, more importantly, why would I poison someone with whatever that is? So to put your mind at ease, fine. I will take a drink first to prove you it's not poison. But for the record, accusing a shaman of trying to poison you is exactly the kind of thing I was talking about. That type of insult can get you killed. We have got a lot to teach you before you're ready to be accepted. Now drink up. And I was so busy watching you, I didn't even stop to ask you if you slept well. Good, because after you have this tea, you're going to definitely need to work off some of that energy, and I might have just the thing in mind. Well, why don't you come up with an idea or two? I can't imagine it'll be that 
hard for you. Oh no, don't worry about her. She won't be back until nightfall. By then, I'll have gotten all of this energy out of you. Was I really being too subtle for you? Do I have to spell it out? Alright, why not? That T? It's when to awaken whatever it is inside of you. Whatever that... Whatever that is in there. It's going to turn on the switch. And when that happens, there's some... Usually a lot of pent-up energy that needs a release. Hello everyone, Star here. Thank you all for listening. I want to give an extra big thank you out to all of my patrons over on Patreon. Thank you to all of you. Our, our, our list is growing. This is exciting. Um, and on that note, I am working on a couple of new things over there. A couple of tiers, a couple of benefits. Um, I'm leaning very heavily towards making a patron-only server on Discord. I already have a server made. It's just not... Um, set up with permissions and stuff, but I have one. So I am going to be working on getting that up. So for this, for this one, I introduced the second character because I wanted to add some variety into it because I gotta fucking name all these characters eventually. Or maybe I don't. Maybe it's just like a thing. Whatever. The unnamed orc. The unknown orc. UFO. Unidentified fighting orc. Sure. The UFO um, is a very different character than a very different character than her sister. And you know, the thing I liked most about when I first started playing D&D and I had this tabaxi robe, the thing I liked most was that I got to act as this person who didn't act like me. And it was fun, right? And the, the UFO kind of still feels a lot like me in a way. Like, slow and kind of chill and just I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, I want to say a big thank you to everyone for watching, for listening, for whatever. Thank you. And I will see you next time. Bye.